Hello everyone, I am Ankit and you are watching Study IQIS English Channel. Our today's video will be about Colossal Squid. But let me first start by giving you an example of a mythical squid known as Kraken. Now this Kraken, it was believed by ancient sailors that this Kraken used to have a taste of human flesh. So whenever sailors, they were sailing in the deepest ocean, they were afraid of one thing only, that to be eaten by these kind of giant animals known as squids. But do you understand this idea of Kraken, a mythical creature was not based on superstition or it did not even come out of thin air. Rather, this Kraken, it was believed to be formed based on two giant self-awards. These were giant squid and colossal squid. Now, these are examples of cephalopods and these cephalopods, these are class of marine animals, which also includes octopus and cuttlefish. And these are probably the largest invertebrates in the entire world. So this is where the idea of squid or kraken comes from. That is two original cephalophores known as uh, giant squid as well as colossal squid. Now our today's discussion will be about them only. Now, despite of their large size, you understand these deep sea squid, they have remained elusive for a long time. And until recently, they were first discovered, that is this colossal squid, uh, squid, they were first discovered in 1925. And until recently, humans did not have a recorded evidence in their natural habitat. And this changed last month, where scientists, uh, they were on board a research vessel in South Atlantic, and they recorded a juvenile colossal squid, which was only about a foot long and 2000 feet below the sea level in the ocean surface. And this footage was taken near South Sandwich Island in the southern part of the Atlantic. And this was released for public viewing on April the 15th. So this image behind me is the first ever image of a colossal squid in its natural habitat, that is the deepest part of the oceans. But next, the question might appear in your mind, why are they so elusive? Or why haven't human be able to record their existence until now? The answer is the cephalophores, they were first discovered in 1925. I'm talking about colossal squid. And they were found only when the arm fragments of these two squids were found in the belly of a sperm whale, which is the natural predator of this particular squid. Now, until last month, humans had not seen this uh, squid in the depths of Southern Ocean, which is the natural habitats of these cephalophores. And most of our understanding about these creatures, they only came from dead or dying specimens that were found until now in the stomachs of whales or birds and sometimes younger ones whenever they were turned up into troll nets. So this was the only idea that humans had from the remains that we were able to find out. Only until now they were able to find only the remains, only until now they were able to find the original image or the videographic of their existence in their natural habitat. Now, Colossal squid, they have been nearly impossible to spot, especially on cameras. And this is because of one quality that these colossal squids have. Now, these colossal squids, they have a eye, which is roughly the size of a basketball. So whenever you have a large amount of image size, your ability to see improves. And that is why whenever a camera equipment might have been sent in the deepest part of the oceans, these uh, squids might be able to evade them because of their uh, bright light and also because of the noise they make. And as a result, researchers, they have a very little idea about squids until now, about how they eat or what is their diet pattern, what is their lifespan or reproductive traits and even the other qualities of colossal squid. So that is why they have remained an enigma until now. Now, another cephalophore that we are going to discuss today is giant squid. Now, these giant squid are also elusive, but when it compares to colossal squid, they or humans naturally know some more details about giant squid because more is known about these giant squid as they were first identified back in 1857. Whereas I told you about colossal squid, they were first identified only in 1925. Whereas the life specimen of a giant squid, it was first captured on camera in 2004 and on video in 2016. Whereas the colossal squid have now only been captured on a live camera in 2025. Now, this giant squid, it also lives in the frigid depths of the ocean that is between 600 to 3000 feet under the surface and in tropical and temperate water. So, these are where the giant squids are available. Now, these giant squids are known to eat deep sea fish and other specimen or species that are found in um, or other smaller squids also. So, humans know somewhat more detail about giant squid as compared to colossal squid. Now, let us come back to the colossal squid. 
Now, how do you explain the differences between colossal squid and the giant squid? Now, beyond their habitat, the size of colossal squid and giant squid, they also differ. For example, it is believed that colossal squid can go as long as 7 meters or 23 feet in length, whereas their weight, it can go up till 500 kg. Now, compare that to giant squid who are known to grow up till 13 meters or 43 feet in length and they can typically weigh 275 kilograms. So, in terms of weight, the colossal squids are heavier, whereas in terms of length, the giant squids are longer. So, this is the difference between the two species. A colossal squid are more heavier as compared to giant squids, but on the other hand, giant squids are larger in size as compared to the uh, colossal squid. Now, colossal squid, they have a huge body, but relatively short arms and tentacles, which means body plan in some ways of colossal squid is very different from the giant squid. So, you understand the difference, right? Now, benefits of the huge size. Now, both of these squids in general are quite huge in nature as compared to other sea creatures. Now, their massive size, it also increases the number of animals that these squids can prey upon. And also, on the other hand, their larger size means there is very few number of species that can actually eat them, right? So, only the apex predator of the oceans, that is the sperm whale, is the only animal that can eat these giant squids. And also, these squids have massive eyes, which I have already told you is the size of basketball. So, therefore, they are able to spot their primary adversary, that is sperm whales, from distance and allowing them to evade them. But unlike many other squids, giant and colossal squid, they take likely years to mature. It is believed that giant squid, they live anywhere between 2 to 12 years, whereas there is no clear agreement of how much duration of life does a colossal squid live. So, you get the point, right? The overall idea about humans of what are the features of colossal squid, how long they live, what are their mating patterns, what are their primary inhabitants, this is very well known or very less known because they do not have seen the colossal squid. Now, this brings me to the moot point of our today's discussion is that why is this finding so significant? Now, you understand now that if humans have high resolution video footage of such colossal squid, it will help them solve many mysteries which have remained mysteries until now. First is where these animals spend their time or where they travel to mate or spawn and also how long do they live. So, these are the characteristics that you usually know about an animal, but this was not known about colossal squid. Now, also, when you have found a squid in its mid-range that is not very small, not very large, so it will provide researchers the opportunity to fill some of the missing puzzles of pieces about the life history of this very mysterious animal. And in addition to that, sighting of such colossal squid will also inform humans the impact of deep sea mining because we understand it is primarily agreed that deep sea mining directly harms the sea animals. So, we will be able to assess their impact also on colossal squid which inhabit the deepest part of the oceans. So, this is the benefit of significant discovery that now once we have found the squid, we have photographic and videographic evidence. So, it will help us understand more details about this colossal squid. Understand? Now, if you have understand this, let's see if you are able to solve this question. And what do you think about this uh, particular development? Do let me know in the comment section and also please let me know the correct answer to this question in the comment section. And do not forget to subscribe to our channel for more such informative videos on anything that is going on in the news cycle. So, I will see you again. Until then, please allow me to take your leave.